Hey up, it's Louise. I am all hunkered down. I've got a cup of tea. I love this mug because has anything ever been said that's more true? The only reason I gotta work is to keep Reg and Treacle well fed. So I'm hunkered down. I've got a brew. I've got a little snacky. I love Terry's chocolate orange so much. The minis, they're good, but I prefer a whole chocolate orange when you just like <laughs> lob it on the floor. <laughs> and you start to gently tap it on like a wall to break it. Also, they're not as tough as they used to be because when I were a little one, you used to have to give them some right whack, but now you just gently tap them. But I go like underhand, like whoop, and uh, throw them on the floor, which is what I did with my Christmas morning one. And my mum was upstairs because I was at my parents and she was like, what are you doing down there? Like, I'm just breaking the chocolate orange, mum. Just like overhand bowling. Anyway, it's nothing to do with anything. I've got a little snack, so I might just enjoy some chocolate orange while I'm sat. This sounds like I'm doing promo for chocolate orange, God, I wish. Also, if you are uh, old enough to have watched I'm Alan Partridge, uh, they're not shop sell chocolate oranges, but if you've not seen it, then you won't know what I'm on about. Anyway, gonna enjoy some Terry's TM chocolate orange, Minnie's TM uh, while I have a chat about some books. Did I say it was about books? No, I got too distracted thinking about chocolate and now I'm just trying to force open this bag. I'm not really paying any attention. <sighs> Sweet chocolate orange. I'm a fiend. Mm -hmm -hmm. So, I've got a fat stack of books to talk about today. Four of them are very similar and that three of them are a trilogy and one's like in a very similar vein. And then the other one, it's not really anything to do with anything. So I'll start on that one. So the first one I read was Skin by E.M. Reaper. And it's about a young lady who doesn't know what she wants with her life and she goes traveling to see if that'll enlighten her. And it doesn't, she just ends up like back home where it all started. It was weirdly like, I don't know. There was a lot of like, I don't know. What's the word that I'm trying to think of? Adult themes. I don't know, she was like, mm. I feel like she was just like <laughs> seeking validation because she was unhappy in herself. And it was a lot of like, mm. wanting men to fancy our sort of thing. No, there's anything wrong with that. I don't know where I'm going with this thought. Uh, but I don't know, it just made me feel a bit uncomfortable. She just was really hating herself and trying to get validation. Uh, and it was okay. It was quite a quick read. It was all right. <laughs> I'm so uneloquent. It's gonna go onto the free pile as soon as I finish this video. I'm gonna eat some more chocolate. Mm -mm -mm. Divergent. Young adult book. I need to find the other two books in the charity shops. These ones. These guys. These ones. But I've not seen them so far, but I'm keeping my little beady eye out. I really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed this. It was really like, it was really gritty. Like, I don't know, it's like a young adult one. And it's like, teen girl has to save the world as it always is. But it was really, really good, really gripped me really enjoyed it like the like sci-fi aspects of it so good so it's like i think everyone's like split up into like i think it's five different factions and that depends on what your personality is like and what behaviors you really value oh my god it was so good i enjoyed reading every minute of it and i need to find the other two books in the charity shop hopefully because i really enjoyed this so yeah divergent by veronica roth and i think is it a film now as well I think it might also be a film. So, might watch that at some point. So good. So good. Really enjoyed this. I hope someone enjoys this from the free pile. So good. Love this. See, I like young adult fiction. I used to be against reading it because I thought, like, I am love this because I'm a baby, obviously. Um, but, like, it's just, they usually like easy reads. And I like the storylines, you know? And ugh, these three, my first time as like a 29 year old reading the Hunger Games trilogy. I, 
my one gripe is I don't like this one. <laughs> it's a different cover to these two, but I couldn't find the same. I couldn't find um, Mockingjay in the same cover as these two. But I'm like, I'm not keeping them anyway. But like, damn, this is sun bleached. Look at that. Look at like the cover compared to it. So, where do we begin? I paid two, two fifty for these. Usually I pay fifty p for each of my books, but the first one and the last one both cost me a quid, and then the second one was fifty p. Anyway, people already know this sensational book series. I never read it because I think when they came out, it was like, like I said, I was as soon as I thought I'd reached the peak for young adult fiction, I just stopped reading them because I oh, don't know, I'm a dumbass. So I miss these they sort of pass me by and oh, I am so annoyed that I didn't read them sooner they're so good I've never seen the films so I think they would be good uh but oh, these are so good and like I was speaking to one of my friends who loves to read and she said that like she really enjoys them as well and like they still hold up now like they've held my attention oh my god I was so excited to read them and to finish them and like Suzanne Collins is such a good writer. She'd just leave every chapter on like a cliffhanger and then it's like, well, then I need to read the next one then. And because they're like young adult, again, they are like really easy reads. That's a lot going on. And she's just so descriptive the way she writes things. I'm like, I want to eat that like lamb stew with the prunes in it. That sounds great. And <laughs> just like all the, just like, yeah, describing like this person has like gold face tattoos. This person has like purple and green hair. I'm like, mm, just the way she says it. I'm like, mm, I can imagine this. It's so good. Also, I am on team uh, Gail, not team Peter. Peter? Peter, that's what he's called. Uh, yes, Suzanne Collins, The Hunger Games. So good. Suzanne Collins, The Hunger Games Catching Fire. So good. Suzanne Collins, The Hunger Games Mockingjay that's in a different cover design that makes me unhappy. So good. So, 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 so good. So good. And I hope Suzanne Collins has never done anything problematic unlike the, uh, the wizard author. But, oh my God, these books. They're so good, they've blown my tiny mind. I would have loved these as a teen, whenever they, when did they come out? <gasps> Just found out. Not to be sold separately, is it? Not to be sold separately? It doesn't want to focus. These should have been split up. That's illegal, whoever did this. Anyway, when did this come out? 2008? Yeah, I would have been like 16, 17. So I think, I, yeah, I would have thought I was too old for it, but that would have blown my tiny mind. I missed out on the whole cultural phenomenon and instead I was just obsessed with the wizard author and then rereading those now as an adult, you're like, these books are crap. Some of, like some of them, some of them, the writing is crap. I still have the nostalgia though and that's bad of me because the wizard author is bad, I guess, uh, but the Hunger Games, I missed out on this cultural phenomenon and I'm sad about it. I was only, only harming myself by not reading The Hunger Games. So anyway, great books. See, the only one that I didn't like, I mean, I like, it was okay, was the non-young adult fiction one, so. Maybe, the turntables have turned, as they say. So, I'm looking forward to throwing all these on the free pile so they won't be taking up loads of space on my nightstand because I have to save them until I get a certain amount of books and I'm like, ah, I can make a little video just rambling about these and making no sense. Uh, so I'm gonna start something else. Maybe another young adult fiction book as a treat. Mm. That's good chocolate orange. I'm gonna finish my broom throw these on the free pile and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys!